the very first step we're gonna do is go back here and remove this panel. We need access to the front of the engine. Now, I have a separate video on exactly this, so instead of videoing it again, here is a link if you need to know how to do that. Go click on that and then come back here. All right, hopefully yours looks like this now. Uh, so the next step is to turn the crank, which is that one down there. It is a 24 millimeter socket. You're gonna need to turn it and where you can see right here where that little line is, that's what you want to have lined up for top dead center. And sadly for me, this teardrop shaped one right here is the one that has to uh, come over to where this hole is over here approximately. So I have to turn the engine almost one full turn to get it there. <sighs> so it just leads me to something else nobody ever talks about. Do you have to take the belt off to do this? So I got to put it in neutral at least, I assume. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay, so I got the 24 millimeter down there and I got this uh, little ratchet with a little extension so I can get some more leverage on it. You do not need to take off the belt, I'm told, which makes sense because it doesn't really matter if any of that stuff turns. So this is one of the things that nobody talks to you about though. Um, when I turn this, it is turning the engine over a little, but the nut is turning faster than the engine. So it feels like it's, or looks like it is tightening that nut down or that the nut is slightly spinning while the engine turns which I don't know if that will stop after a while maybe it's just loose on my car but you can see how it's not turning at the same rate so oh, here we go Still kind of doing the same thing. So maybe if I move it faster, feels better, I guess. Yeah, maybe I'm just moving it too slow. I don't know. Anyway, you want to turn it clockwise, not counterclockwise. So I'm just turning and looking for that teardrop-shaped hole. All right, because you're going to want to stop it before it gets to the 12 o'clock position. Okay, here comes the teardrop hole. So when this other non-teardrop hole lines up with this mark, that's about when the teardrop hole is in the right place. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit more and get it close. So at this point, I'm going to get out my cheapo Amazon Porsche camshaft toolkit that has these things in here and this one is supposed to be the right size to stick in there and lock it. it also comes with a longer one but i think you're supposed to use the short one uh, or if you don't have one of these you can use a 5 16th inch drill bit or possibly an eight millimeter maybe there's a metric size too but that is the right size to stick in here so right now uh, i'm gonna use two hands and with one hand i'm going to turn this with the other hand i'm going to start sticking this in so it'll drop in when it lines up okay i'm going to try to not drop this thing down here right, finagle this in here and hold it here and turn this all right i can kind of feel it going in a little there Turn in. Okay, there, it just dropped in. Okay, so that should be a top dead center. If you look really close down here, you can see that little notch. So it is true what I was told before. So, okay, so we are at top dead center and locked. 